We Catholics are kind of famous for having statues. Why do we have statues? What are they about? I'm Father Bryce, and we're here at Sacred Heart in Morgan City. Today, I'd like to tell you a story. Hanging on the wall in my grandpa's house is, is a painting of his dad, my great grandpa. It's a painting of his dad just doing the work that he did on the farm pretty much every day of his adult life. It's simple. But I don't know of another picture that means more to my family than that simple picture of my great grandpa working hard, doing what he did every day. And I think that that picture has that much meaning because it's a picture of someone we love doing what our family is about. I never met my great grandfather. He passed away before I was born. But because of that picture and because of the stories that I hear from my mom, from my uncles, from my grandpa, I know something about our family history. I know something about what our family's about. I know something about the loves of our family. And I can see that through the picture. The picture on the wall at my grandpa's house makes visible this invisible thing of the love of my family. And that's pretty much why we have statues. The statues of the saints show us what our Christian family is about. They remind us of those who have gone before us. They inspire us. We see in the statue of Saint Therese holding her roses, her desire to show God's love in little ways to everybody she meets. And we're inspired to do the same. We see in the statue of the Blessed Mother holding the child Jesus, the comfort of a mother, the comfort that God wants to give to you and to me and that we are called to show to others. In the statue of Saint Joseph with his staff, we see his strength and tenderness, our call to protect our call to guard, our call to keep, to keep safe. In the statue of St. Jude, we see the image of Jesus on the medal which he holds. St. Jude could sometimes get mistaken for Judas, the betrayer. But Jude, even in the midst of being mistaken for someone evil, holds on to the image of Christ. And he becomes an image of Jesus for those in hopeless situations. The statues that we see in church or in people's yards or in our gardens or next to our beds remind us who we are, to whose family we belong and what our family is about. And, and that's the point of the statues. Remember even in the Old Testament, in Exodus, God tells Moses, fashion two golden cherubim, two golden angels, and put them in the Holy of Holies, in the meeting tent next to the Ark of the Covenant where God dwells, to show the glory and the holiness of God's presence. Later, in the book of Numbers, God tells Moses to fashion a statue, to mount it on a pole, that the people who look on it might be healed. And in the New Testament, Jesus himself uses the image of the statue mounted upon the pole to show us the purpose of his dying on the cross, that we might gaze upon him, enter into his mystery, and then be healed. And so when you and I see statues in the church as we drive along the road or in our homes, let's remember our family history. Let's remember what our family is about. A family that shows Jesus to others. A family that enters in to the cross of the Lord Jesus. A family that, that works hard and that prays hard 
and that loves each other. God bless you.